I think that God is uh, everything. God is everything. And uh, certainly God is not an idea or a notion. God is very real. And you can get in touch with God if you are mindful, concentrated, and insightful. The source of creation, how are you going to put a definition on it? You cannot define it, you cannot understand it, you can only dissolve into it. You can experience it, you can never know it, you can't make knowledge out of it. Whatever you knowledge, have knowledge you have about God is just pure nonsense, cultural nonsense. Depending upon which kind of culture you are in, that kind of God you have, isn't it? It can only be experienced. Experience does not mean you can eat it or you can grasp it. No, you can experience only by dissolving in it. There is no other way. So, we are just looking for methods of dissolution so that we can experience something far bigger than ourselves. It's not a question of who or what God is, but who or what God is not. Because to try to define God and to try to answer your question, who or what is God, is almost impossible, since there's nothing that is not God. It's much easier to answer the question, who is God not? And the answer is nothing. Nothing that exists is not a part of that which we call God. That, so nothing in reality, nothing in physical reality, or even for that matter, metaphysical reality, is not a part of what I call God. Nothing stands outside of God. So the answer is that God is everything. So to me, God is not an abstract idea, but uh, something very real that you can encounter in every moment of your daily life. Your body belongs to the kingdom of God. Your mind also. That flower, that stream of water, that tree, they all belong to the kingdom of God. And it's too bad if we are caught in our anger, in our fear, in our jealousy, that we cannot get in touch the, with the kingdom of God. And if we, we, we don't know how to, how to get in touch with the kingdom of God and with God, and then our life will, we waste, waste our life. So in Brahma Village we learn to walk in such a way, to sit in such a way, to eat in such a way to take a shower in such a way that we can get in touch with the wonders of life that belong to the kingdom of God. And I will tell you, everything belongs to the kingdom of God, including this lotus flower, including this little boy. And uh, we should continue to learn in order to understand this more deeply. Thank you.